Hi, I'm Jeff Moore of Peak Music. Let's talk about breathing. Most vocal coaches spend way too much time talking about, about breathing. We're going to give you two exercises that are really going to dial in your breathing and put it in its proper place. All right, so first thing, let's learn what proper posture is. That's important. Stand up straight, shoulders neutral, not back, not forward. Neutral. Chin slightly down. If you tilt your head back, it stretches the muscles that pull your singing off. All right, so chin slightly down, legs slightly apart. You want about shoulder width and one foot slightly in front of the other. You can choose which foot you want. All right, what are we going to do? We're going to breathe deep. That means not shallow chest breathing. It's not going to be none of that. We're going to breathe into our belly. Our belly is going to expand. Breathe deep. And then breathe out. In. And out. You don't have to make sounds when you're doing it. In fact, as a vocalist, you don't want to be making sounds. But I am using this for effect. So breathe deep. Belly out. Breathe out. Breathe out completely. Do that 10 times. Relaxes you and emphasizes proper breathing. All right. Next exercise. You're going to find a safe space at your home. I'm going to ask you to hold your breath for an extended period of time. This is great for developing lung capacity. You want to be someplace safe in, in case you feel faint. You don't feel good. You can even do this lying down or sitting down. Make sure you're safe. Do not do this driving or riding a bike, okay? So you're just going to get a stopwatch or you can use your cell phone. You've got a clock in front of you. You're going to breathe those 10 times. Get your proper breath. Get oxygenated. Then you're going to breathe in. Hold and time it. And whatever you get, if you get 10 seconds, that's fine. Next time, you're going to focus on 12 seconds. When you hit that, you're going to focus on 14. If you can get up to 30 to 60 seconds, you're in a good range for a vocalist. All right. Exercise three, the next exercise. You're going to get the file off of our website. It's going to be a musical file, and you're going to use three vowels, A, ah, O, and E. You're going to put some breath in front of each of those vowels. And what we're going to do is we're going to address what most vocal coaches miss. And that is metering breath using your vocal folds. You're going to intentionally add breathiness to your mixture and you're going to know when it's cut off through this exercise. All right, you're going to go ha, ho, he. All right. You're going to do each one four times. I'm going to put on the track, run through it a time or two with you, and you're going to do this on a daily basis. All right? Ha, 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 ho, 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 he, 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 ha, ha, ha. Ha, ho, 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 he, 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 he. All right, I'm going to stop that there. There's a second way that you can do the exercise. One is exploring how it feels with breath. The next is to not take a breath in between those four vowels. How many iterations can you go through without taking a breath? Again, this extends your breath capacity, your ability to meter your breath, and your estimation of your breathing capacity. Critical for the vocalist.